Hello world, this is Random Fix, and I recently did a seven part series on how to go ahead and build a lithium iron phosphate battery cell. There were 280 amp hour cells that you could build for under $600. And one of the components that you need to go ahead and control the actual battery is going to be the BMS applications. So, this is going to be a Zhao Zing application review. And we're going to talk about Apple, the Android consumer version, and then the Android professional version. So you guys know exactly what the differences are. So stay tuned. One of the most expensive parts of actually building the van was going to be the batteries. They were going to cost me about $10,000 if I wanted over 1,000 amp hours. And on the seven part series i showed you guys how to go ahead and build those same exact batteries for about six hundred dollars so if you guys want to check that out please do so in this video we're going to be actually talking more about the applications that control them so this is going to be apple the consumer version for android and then we got the professional version over here let me go ahead and kind of break down what you're going to get so let's talk about the difference between these three apps right here and on the very left, we have the iOS version here of the BMS application. And if you wanted to get the free version, this is exactly what you would see here on what I'm showing you. And if you pay the $6.99, you can go ahead and get access to the back end here. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this, but let's talk about what you get for free. So you're able to go ahead and get a voltage readout and you can turn the battery on and off that's all you can do and as well as how many times the battery has been over voltage and basic information the ios version the distance as far as the battery can be away from the phone is pretty impressive so i'm able to go ahead and connect this ios to the battery bank that's inside my van pretty far away and there's a lot of metal and a lot of distortion. However, it still connects really well and I'm very impressed with it. And when you pay the $6.99, all of a sudden you can go ahead and change the BMS name with just a click. Unlike the Android version where you gotta disconnect twice. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So that was pretty impressive. And then also down here, we're able to go ahead and import in settings we can open the configurator we can save the settings and we can also do a bms right at the very top right hand corner and we can go in here and make adjustments just like on the android professional version which we'll talk about at the end and make any kind of adjustments that we need we can save a total of eight different presets on the very bottom here and that's really nice to have that option and so on the iOS version, we also get this enabled BMS calibration function. So this is pretty cool. I've never had access to this before. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable this. I have a notifications option here and I can get an alarm if a battery cell drops below a certain voltage. So iOS is definitely gonna be the one I would go with if I had a choice between the two. And it is $6.99, however, it could definitely save you a bunch of time when you're on the road and not having to sit there and basically play around to get the settings correct. So that'd be pretty cool. And then we have the Android free version here that you would just get from the Play Store. And I'll have a link to each one of these applications, including the professional version for Android on the right. So on this one, all you could do is lock and lock it. And what the lock and unlock basically means is on and off. So a lot of times these bms's were used for scooters and so you would have a function to go ahead and power up the motor or not have power to the motor that's all that it was able to do and also you can go ahead and track speed so if you wanted to go and use this for a scooter track your speed you can do so and on the right over here we have the pro version for android and this is a lot better than the free version that you get from the app store and again the link will be in the video description and you do not need to pay for this and so you want to click right here and right here we can go through and click on that area and we can choose any device we want to connect to and so in my case i have a total of three batteries within range here i'm connected to number one if i wanted to connect to a different battery i have to just hit that unlink button right here 
towards the top right hand side and I would unlink. If you're having an issue, you would go ahead and hit the fix at the very bottom and it may take care of your issue. You do not have the same issues on iOS as it's way more stable. And we have a battery state here. So under the battery state, we get a lot of nice readings here. You have a little function here for battery voltage, protection information. We have a parameter view, and this is gonna load up 59 different individual items that we can go ahead and be able to A, view it, and B, make adjustments if needed. We have the parameter settings. So this is really nice that on the Android version, you're given this option and i like using this view normally when i'm making my adjustments and i have a video on how to go ahead and get the perfect settings so check that out below and again i also have some preset functions so i can choose lipo normal and lipo light it'll go ahead and redo all the different settings here so if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this check out the links in the video description and we have a function section right here. And this is where you can go ahead and reset capacity. So if you have a battery that's out of sync and it's showing that it's 100% charged, however, you know it's not 100% charged and you're not able to go and charge the battery anymore because the BMS is disconnecting, this is where you would hit the reset up top. You can go ahead and do a load check, balance enable, charge balance, and if you had two sensors on your BMS. This is where you can activate the secondary temperature sensor. We have the app settings, and this is where you can change names. Change it from monitoring to driving mode. So under driving mode, you get the speed displayed using the GPS as well. And at the very bottom, this is where you could go ahead and change the password. And I gotta warn you when you're using the Android version, you may run into a couple of glitches that is normal it happens to me whenever I get a new BMS. I have to try two or three times before I'm able to change the password and change the BMS name. So again, I'm not an Apple spokesperson. I don't know any of their stocks, but their app is pretty darn good if you're willing to pay the $6.99. So yeah, that's my review here on the Zhao Zing BMS app. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. I always do my best to get back to each and one of you guys. And I appreciate you guys watching. Make it a great day. And you'll find all the links below. And also in that video series, I have a video on how you can save 50% off on these BMSs. So if you're buying this from eBay or Amazon, guys, before you spend your hard-earned money, watch that video. Because I think you're going to be really surprised on how affordable these BMSs are when you're able to go ahead and skip all the middlemen. And I'll show you guys how to do that in that video. Hey everybody, just want to give you a quick update. I found a free iOS version that allows you to monitor all the BMSs just from one screen. So before I was having to go from screen to screen and this application actually avoids that and zero dollars. I'll have it for you guys here or here. Thanks. Make it a great day. Thanks again. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.